back to Jesus. Yeah. Maybe this Monday morning. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> Devin Roberts is here because we're getting a first look at the new Weight Watchers. Company banking on the star power of Oprah, completely overhauling the way it helps people lose weight. Devin, what do you got? Well, George, i got to tell you, it's just in time for those New Year's resolutions. Just in time, of course, because so many people are dealing with all the goodies. Well, with two-thirds of Americans struggling in some way to deal with their weight, Weight Watchers is betting that a new high-tech overhaul may be just the thing for some people to finally shed those pounds. For many, when the New Year's Eve ball drops, the battle of the bulge begins. And in a world of Fitbits and apps, the company that helps millions shed pounds is waging an updated war against obesity. With its new logo and jazzy fitness app, this is not your grandmother's Weight Watchers. If you had to sum it up, what's different now? People with this new program are really shifting their mindset a lot. Shifting by focusing more on good health and less on counting calories as a way to squeeze in that extra treat. People would really spend a lot of time trying to figure out how do I get my Doritos in? Oh, I can do it if I kind of adjust this and adjust that. Now it's not as important for them to make sure how they're getting the Doritos in. It's much more important for them to say, what am I putting in my body? How is that going to make me feel? The new campaign, Beyond the Scale, comes at an important time for the 53-year-old Weight Watchers. Pizza with pepperoni, mozzarella, no bologna, Weight Watchers. This is living. With membership and revenue on the decline, they brought Oprah on board with a 10% stake in the company. She's also a member, writing in next month's old magazine, I've wishy-washed with diets and exercise my whole life. For me, this is not a diet. So yes, I'm a bona fide convert. New ideas were in play the company says long before Oprah joined. We still produce weight loss. Now we're enhancing our program based on the latest science like healthy eating, being more fit, and making time to take care of yourself. I had to have a piece of pumpkin pie because it's just, you know, you have to have it. Of course you yeah. <laughs> These three women, part of a test group in New Jersey, says a new focus on their physical and emotional health made losing weight more fun. I feel like it's more of a mental breakthrough that you have to have in order to, to, to boost the weight. It's more about the positive things, things that you can have, that you can do. Some even finding the plan easier than before. You have to literally look up the points, and it was really tedious. Will you stick with it? Yeah, absolutely. Weight Watcher says 38 of the 40 trial participants lost weight on the plan. I'm down 50 pounds. I'm down 30 pounds. And I'm down 18 in the last six months. But not everything has changed. Still going to do the weigh-ins? We are going to do the weigh-ins because it's an important metric, but not the only metric. So, no doubt people do come to Weight Watchers because they do want to lose weight, but the company says now the focus is on the kind of food you're eating, how much activity you're actually getting into your life. They think that is going to be the success, guys, to permanent weight loss. It's kind of what we all know, but in Weight Watchers, it's been a new mantra to sort of think about the whole body, not just the scale and, and the pounds. success stories there. Yes. Yeah. Makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense. Just in time for the new year? Absolutely. <laughs> After Christmas. Let's go to the <laughs> with you, George. Totally with you on that. Now the toxic workers, more 